All right, what's going on, guys? We're gonna try to get the uh, the fairy princess. Here's the mushroom. So just to show you, here's the level six commercial building. We're gonna go ahead and drop down onto the very top. We're gonna hit this. There's no crystal coin needed for this uh, rainbow door, so you just hit it. And then we just place it on there. All right, what's going on guys? We're gonna be doing the large cabin. Uh, this one's pretty easy. It's all the way in the back from the moment that you leave the airport. And we'll take a look at it on the map. So as you can see, we're gonna go outside of the zone. So yeah, again, this is the easiest one. You just fall, over, uh, fall out into the back. So you're gonna talk to Ronald, uh, get the cabin, and then he'll even teleport you home large cabin yeah that's pretty much how you get the forest tree all right what's going on guys we're gonna try to get the cold mountain uh the mountain rock so in this one i don't actually have it already made so we're gonna have to destroy and rebuild a couple times um it's gonna be a park so it's a dark green on the map you look down here dark green there's no levels um i'm gonna go ahead and destroy this right now and then we're gonna rebuild several times until we get uh, what we're looking for. So, let's go ahead and see. Oh, that's not what we're looking for. There we go. Wow, that was, that was a lot easier than I thought. So, on the very top of this building, or on the very top of this park, it's gonna be hidden behind uh, the tree, the forest. So it's right there. Now, actually, you know. So you right click it, and then you have the uh, mountain rock right there. All right, let's move on to the next one. So we just got the twisting evil. It's this door. Here's the map. Uh, so it's a residential at level zero. Um, the way that you can tell immediately is if there's fire around the house when you first build it. So these fires, the magma, you know, you can go knocking on the front of the door. You can go knocking on the, you know, the top of the door. But behind the house here is where the rainbow door is. And uh, that's how you get the uh, Twisting Evil. You, you just have to knock on it several times. The first time, you know, it, it, it nothing happened. But the point is, you, you have to annoy it a lot. Um, and then it'll drop the uh, Twisting Evil after you get burned on fire. So, yeah, that's pretty much... That's pretty much how you get the, uh, the, the Twisting Evil for, uh, for, for this thing. The Twisting Evil for Evil Mastermind. So yeah. What's going on guys? So we're going to be doing the Angelic Idol. We're going to try to get this Halo. Uh, it's going to be in one of the parks. So let's go ahead and pull up the map. Anywhere that has the dark green is going to be the park. So we're going to go ahead and look for it right now. Or we're going to hop into the airplane. And then uh, we're going to go to the other one. Where hopefully it's behind here. There it is. So, you get to the park. Here's me on the map right now. It's in the dark green area. And it's right behind on the very top. It's going to be very difficult for you to try to jump up here with the uh, mayor pants. I don't think it's impossible to jump up here. So, go ahead and right click it. And then the halo pops down. You get the halo. You can actually wear the halo. And then put it on top of your head, and look at that, spiffy. There we go. Okay, so put that back on. And then we're going to head back to the mayors. Or we're going to head back to the advisors. And uh, yeah, that's how you get the halo for Angelic Idol. Alright, what's going on guys? So I'm going to show you guys how to get the Crime Lord, which is the robber doll, uh, the robber's doll. Um, basically, you need to have five abandoned lots. Doesn't really matter which ones. So, let me show you real quick. 
on my map right here, I already have five abandoned lots. So that's how you guys get the uh, robber's doll. It'll automatically appear into your inventory like this as soon as we have five residential or five abandoned lots. Yo, what's going on guys? So we're going to try to get the jumping castle inside of Zimburbia. Um, this is the advisor's town hall. And luckily... We've got a level 4 industrial over here. And here are all the requirements for the jumping castle. Um, so in order to build this, you're going to need to have a 4 industrial. And so if it's surrounded by things that are going to make it grow, then you're going to need a stopwatch. So we got stopwatch. We got a few of them. We're going to need the fool's gold. Snot. Bird poop instructions and air pump all right guys so one of the items that we need to find is the bird poop and it's literally on one of the level eight commercial buildings and it's it looks like a cell membrane and it won't allow you to touch it with your hand for some reason so you're gonna have to pick it up with some random object so i'm just gonna use like this little brick and there is the bird poop for our uh, jumping castle so let's go back over to the jumping castle again it was on a level 8 commercial building any level 8 commercial building it'll have the bird poop on the top so you can fly over and then you just place it on top so the bird poop right there so there's a few ways that you can find the bike pump you can find it over here and pay for it with one single gold coin you can find it in a level 6 commercial building, or you can find it in a level 8 commercial building. And I think it's over here. The level 8 commercial building has the bike pump on the bottom floor. And you just pay for it with one single coin. Alright guys, and for us to find the uh, Fool's Gold, there's actually two ways that you can get this. It's in the commercial building still. But this one specifically, we were in a uh, level 7 commercial building. And again, you just pay for it with a single gold coin. And then you have the fool's gold here. And one of the things that we're going to need for the jump house is going to be the uh, pages for the instruction. So it's going to be any jars pages. Uh, you're going to get it with one coin. It's going to be on the level 7 commercial building. I have a whole bunch of level 7 commercial buildings just to make sure. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's going to be on the level 7 on the bottom floor. Uh, on the top floor, it should be Todd's Timekeeper. So, you know, you, you got to just keep destroying and rebuilding. It's a little bit smaller than the full level 8 sized. Again, it's going to be on the bottom floor. And yeah, let's use that. All right, and the last one we're going to need is the snot, which is going to be located on the industrial building level 7. It's going to be on the top floor. It's going to be any of these slimes. It's going to be a clue. So I know that there's other ways, but this is the easiest one for me. Went and grabbed it. That's going to be the snot bubble. And here is all of the pieces that we're going to need for the jumping castle. It's not fool's gold instructions. And here we go. We got the uh, mysterious mixture and then we plug it in. And now we have the jumping castle. Oh wait, there's a ladder. How do I, how do I get in? There's a ladder here, but I, I can't get in. Oh, it says Rainbow Bright Factory Candy right here. So if we can somehow connect the connector, okay. There's a connector. Hang on, hang on. There's a connector. There's a connector. 
Hang on. Oh, wait a minute. I get it. I get it. This building is supposed to connect to this one. Okay, I got it. I get it. So we're supposed to... I gotta destroy this. Okay, look. Over here is the section A. See that? You see that? When you jump over here, this connector supposed to, when you activate it, it's supposed to bring this pillar straight forward. But it's in the wrong location. This one needs to be over here. This one needs to be over here. So that that thing can go into that hole. See it? Yep, this is the one. Okay. So, I'm gonna slow this down. Okay, so, for us to get the Rainbow Bright, which is the longest one, there's gonna be this Rainbow Bright Candy Factory, which is a level 8 residential. I mean, uh, residate. Uh, a level 8 industrial. And then you hit the activate c connection mechanism. Okay, the upload link is complete. That means that it's gonna move this pillar to this little chain, uh, this little spot right here that we needed a while ago for the section B of Rainbow Bright Candy Factory. And then it unlocks this door for when you climb up. And you can hit this lever to open it up. And boom, you just got the rainbow door and the letter and all this other cool stuff. Man, that one took forever. All right, we just completed the town hall. Let's see what the rainbow door looks like. And here's a ladder. There's a key. Let's go back down. I'm pretty sure I know where this key goes. Huh. The secret passage is right behind the dump. We're gonna bring it down here. And place it right here. Get the door going through here. Infinity portal. What are you doing here? Okay, I'm just gonna try putting the love letter in there. You know what? If I put it in there, that's the last time we're gonna see the love letter. Okay. No! <laughs> it's gone. We need that infinity crystal. I have it right here. Okay, I'm coming. Okay, give it to me. I thought I had it figured out, the ultimate in deception. I thought they'd never find the truth in here. The city of Suburbia was never real. A city simulation that can be created and destroyed at the will of the player. Sounds like an infinity city to me. Uh, they shouldn't have been able to guess this after the dungeon, plumbing, skyblock, parkour. It was time to up the ante. I was positive they would never find this place, but after all prior experiments, it was clear that it was only a matter of time. I should have known they have found the dungeon here. The key w has been discovered. The clues are all over the place and now they're all 
Uh, and now they're on their way here. There is only one thing left to do. The next time we meet, it will be the end.